Armani Beauty officially announced that Chinese young actor Yi Yanqiangxi, Jackson Yi, became its global spokesperson for the full range of makeup, skin care and fragrance. Yi Yanqiangxi has 89.21 million followers on Chinese social media platform Weibo, making him very popular. He is also the global fragrance spokesperson for Bulgari. P&G announced its financial results for the second quarter of fiscal year 2022. The group reported its sales of $21 billion, up 6% year-on-year. Its sales in the beauty division, where SK2 and Olay are located, rose 2% year-on-year, sales in the healthcare business rose 8% year-on-year. Cosmax Group announced the signing of a theological cooperation industry academia and OU with Dongguk University. The two parties plan to work together to strengthen research capabilities, share important resources and develop products related to Buddhist culture as materials. The research proposal includes cosmetics made from plants closely related to Buddhism such as the lotus and dietary supplements foods with Buddhist cultural characteristics. Xia Hongshu filed a lawsuit against four organizations, including Why My Notice, for $1.576 million. These organizations engaged in fake promotion of ghost writing, which seriously undermined the legal rights of users. At the same time, Xia Hongshu started the third management of false promotion, which banned seven brands including Utina, A2 Milk and Oldenburger, Give Back Beauty, which owns the operation rights of fragrance such as Ellie Saab, Shepard and Philip Pleen, has signed an exclusive licensing agreement with Tommy Hilfiger for its beauty business. The rights to Tommy Hilfiger's beauty business have been held by the SD Lauder Group since 1993 and the group announced that it was closing its designer fragrance division last year and would cease operations of several brands, including Tommy Hilfiger, Google's YouTube will end its original programming business and focus on the millions of creators who provide content for the video platform. YouTube Chief Business Officer Robert Kinkle said the video platform will invest in e-commerce live streaming, the Black Voices Fund and YouTube Shorts which competes with TikTok.